Namaste Soul Tribe Spiritual Healer back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. I love you guys. Hope you're all well and safe. Okay, happy happy Thursday to you guys. Okay, I hope you're enjoying your beautiful day. And I have a few messages for you guys. <clears throat> and then I heard um, you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink. And I also heard, live by the sword, die by the sword. Wow. So, yeah, these people, there's somebody here that um, spoke a, a lot of lies about you, Aries. This person um, is afraid to uh, face you. This individual already received the clarity that they need to um, come towards you and give you some sort of truth or give you some sort of apology or make something right by you. This person has already received the message and they know what they have to do. <clears throat> like I said uh, in yesterday's video reading, um, this person could have basically contacted someone to give them some sort of message, reading, a spiritual reading, a tarot reading. Um, this person was already informed that the reason why things are going left in their life is because they have a karmic debt, you know, and um, they haven't done the right thing by you. They haven't made something fair by you. They haven't apologized. They haven't told you the truth about something. Somebody's afraid of coming towards you. They don't know how they're going to approach you, how they're going to start the conversation, what they're going to say. But this person knows they got to do it because this person really needs your help. But this person has a lot of pride and ego, and they can't um, just come towards you and say they need your help, and they're sorry for what they did. This is their negative karma that's playing out. All right? So this person could be obsessively watching you or stalking you or just... Like, in, in this person could be really paranoid about speaking to you and telling you the truth. All right? Because this person was in denial or this person denied everything that you found out about this person or everything you know. Or this person know, just knows that you can read people. This person knows that you know the truth about the part they played in something. And um, this person, uh, it's like, this person's looking for answers. Um, or they need you to help them with something when it comes to spirituality, to help them heal, all right, or protect themselves spiritually because of whatever it is that they did towards you and you know, the energy that they were putting out just in general got them in some sort of compromising situation. And, um, yeah, they know they're going to have to reach out to you because out of all people, you're the only one that ever was there for them or showed up for them or kept it real with them and really tried to help them, but they really betrayed you. This could be somebody close, somebody that you don't talk to anymore, somebody you walked away from, somebody that uh, never give you credit for anything, or this person never took accountability for things. And um, this person could have really hurt your feelings, and this person needs to reach out. So don't be surprised if you get a surprise visit or phone call. Yeah, and then I feel like you could have gave somebody a lot of advice, but they never took your advice, and they're wondering why things are happening. This person was just too resentful and bitter and um this person couldn't even take your advice because this person was too busy uh trying to make you look bad and make you look bad onto other people and so yeah this person wasn't going to take your advice and for whoever you are watching this video your twin flame is like running out of time or your twin flame is out of time because your twin flame was too, bu too busy playing games emotional manipulation tactics pulling back their energy, dealing with karmics. All right, so now your ancestors have voided that contract between you and your twin flame. And now somebody new is about to come in, and you have caught the eye of another divine being. Wow. So you have caught the eye of another divine being on their path to huge success. You will meet each other, on, and, and this person will be impressed and ready to build with you. Hmm. Okay, so it says, be careful giving any past lovers the... Hmm. Okay, so be careful giving any past lovers a chance because it's a trap, okay? So somebody could be coming back from the past. It's too good to be true. Maybe you think, yeah, this person was never this nice to me or this person never, um, you know, wanted anything. Why now? Why now? Because it's a trap, all right? So don't fall for it. And then I heard the new dawn. I heard the new dawn, okay? It's a new day. It's a new dawn. So there's like thousands of devil worshippers. All right, and these people are coming out of the woodwork. These people are coming out in the open now. 
blatantly worshiping the devil in, in plain sight, all right? They're proud of it. But what these people don't understand is that they believe that if they worship the devil, they will gain some sort of supernatural powers, all right? As if God isn't the actual light, all right? And you guys are connected to the Most High and you guys are light bearers. The Chosen will be activated at this dark time on earth. Our light within will destroy darkness. And this is the downfall of all evil dark practitioners and anybody involved with darkness or working for the dark side. And there's some sort of reckoning happening, all right? So there's a major tsunami, earthquake, or natural disasters where it's like a lot of people are losing their lives here. Oh, my goodness. They are exhausted trying to defeat God's army, intuitive earth angels. Yeah, so these people, these evil worshipers, they're exhausted trying to defeat God's army. It's not as easy as they thought it was, you know, to defeat you because your light is very powerful. Your energy is very powerful, and you got a legion of an angels and ancestors that surround you and cloak you with protection every time they try to send some sort of dark energy or use an energy weapon on you, something about an energy weapon. And every time you go somewhere, you get a bad headache, or every time you're in a certain spot of your house, you start to feel dizzy or sick or nauseous, or when you go into your job, you start to feel sick or nauseous. There's like a dark portal, or somebody's using an energy weapon on somebody watching this video. Yeah, so stay true to your uh, convictions. Stay true to your spiritual journey. Keep tapping in with your ancestors. You guys are accessing um, gifts that were dormant. You guys are activating gifts that were dormant. So now you're hearing your ancestors loud and clear. And then I heard, uh, where is the love? Where is the love, the love, the love? Where is the love? Where is the kindness? Where is the compassion? It feels like uh, a lot of people in humanity have forgot about uh, the Most High God and God's way. People in, in, in humanity forgot about love and compassion. People are so consumed with um, the need to control other people or people are so worried about money and doing anything for it doing anything for clout, but every, these people forgot about the Most High God's way, and this is why they're lost, headed on the path of destruction, and you cannot follow them. Aries, you cannot follow these people on the path to destruction. They want to bring you down with them, all right? And then I heard Maxi Priest, I just want to be close to you and do everything you want me to. So somebody here is, like, wanting to do whatever it takes to make you happy, wanting to do whatever it takes to give you this offer and that you would accept it. This person wants to be close to you. This person could be admiring you from afar, from a distance. This person is intrigued with your energy and feels like you guys have a divine connection. I don't know if you guys met online or you never met in person or you have, but this person hasn't opened up and told you how they're really feeling. But this person is in this energy of, I just want to be close to you. Leo, I like that song from Maxi Priest. You know, this person wants to be close to you. And then there's somebody that has like a Jezebel spirit or a dark uh, sexual entity attachment, male or female. And this person is trying to um, tempt somebody into a connection or tempt somebody into getting, to, getting into bed with them. So they can uh, attach this karmic soul tie or attach this dark en sexual entity, uh, bind somebody's sacral chakra. Okay, so if you got with somebody and all of a sudden you don't feel good, all of a sudden you have pain in your sacral chakra, in your lower abdomen, all of a sudden you're losing sleep, having weird dreams, or if somebody started sleeping with somebody, all of a sudden this person started changing, this, started, this person started becoming toxic, this person forgot about um, um, their responsibilities. If this is you and, I don't know, this is, if this is you and you got with somebody and all of a sudden, like, your mood is changing, you're getting irritable, or you're sleeping longer, or you're, you're forgetting about your goals and your dreams, this person's sucking off of your energy. So disconnect from them and clear out your sacral chakra and your womb from this person's energy, male or female. Okay, so if you're not dealing with somebody like this, it's somebody that you are connected to. Or somebody that wants to give you an offer, there's a karmic here that knows this person wants to give you an offer, karmic male or female. And so they want to attach something to this person. They want to tempt this person into getting into bed with them or getting into a, a fling with them. And this person is really rejecting this individual. I feel like this person is rejecting this person. They're like, no, I'm not doing that with you. Like, I'm into so-and-so and you know about it. So, yeah, somebody, like, confessed to somebody else that they were into you. Okay, and that they wanted to come towards you with an offer, and this person automatically got jealous, 
and automatically came up with a weird plan to seduce this other person and get them to fall for them or get into the bed with them and then attach something to them and have them like not come towards that person. But it didn't work because somebody here got rejected. So there's like a karmic male or female that got rejected and they feel some type of way because this person really wants to come towards you. They hold you in high regard and they're not trying to mess things up by sleeping with this person because they know this person is going to tell you just to mess things. This person actually woke up to the fact that the person they were talking to you about, that the person they were telling their plans to about when it comes to you, so there's somebody that's connected to you, Aries, male or female. And this person really likes you. Maybe you dated this person. Maybe, you know, you guys been talking back and forth. Or maybe you just had a feeling that this person likes you, but they didn't say nothing. Or maybe you guys were dating and dated a few times, and this person wants to give you an offer of a commitment. However, the thing, the situation is playing out. Some of you guys dated this person. Some of you guys haven't dated them at all. Okay, so put yourself where it fits. But there's somebody connected to this person that this person thought they could trust in telling this person how they felt about you, um, that the, the offer they wanted to give to you, how they were going to approach you, and, you know, how they feel like you guys make a good match. And this person was like, oh, yeah, um, yeah, that's cool or whatever. But in low key, this person was plotting to try to throw this person off track so they never come towards you. And this other person that's coming that wants to come towards you, Aries, male or female, this individual figured it out. Like they had an awakening to the fact that this person is trying to block them from coming towards you. And this person has been trying to throw themselves at this person out of nowhere because they really want to sabotage things. And this person feels some type of way because they never looked at this person that way. They just thought they were friends and they can trust them with telling them this. All right, so for some of you guys, you have a masculine or a feminine that wants to come towards you guys, and then there's a friend of theirs that could be the same sex that's interested in this person or that's trying to sleep with them to sabotage them because they could be into the same sex or they could be bisexual or whatever, and not everybody's dealing with that, all right? This person could be of the opposite sex, and they thought they were friends, and they're trying to hit on them. Either way you look at it, somebody's trying to interfere, and this blew up in their face because now your person is awakened to the truth and the fact that this person is a karmic and they're literally trying to block them from having this connection so this person's gonna cut them off and this person's like well basically like if you get with this person then we can't be friends or like if you're gonna try to block me from this person then you're trying to sabotage me and you don't want the best for me so they had some sort of realization and they cut this person off now this person whoever they are they're obsessively watching you stalking you trying to troll you trying to message you from a fake account all right this person is delusional they're very envious of you, Aries. Vibe check. Yeah, check your vibration. Somebody's trying to ruin your vibration, lower your vibration, or send you some sort of negative energies. All right, the number 30. Somebody could be 30 years old. All right, somebody could be born on the 30th of the month. Mm. Or something happening on the 30th at the end of the month. But somebody here, uh, make sure you keep your thoughts positive. Make sure you're working on your energy. Make sure you're meditating and clearing your energy. If you don't, then things are going to pile up on you, and things are going to feel stagnant, okay? So you have to do the spiritual work. What is going on here? Mm. And then I heard um, somebody's very cruel, all right? Somebody's very cruel, or somebody could be Somebody could have been cruel to you in your life growing up. This family member, this mother figure, this father figure, or this auntie or grandmother. Somebody was very cruel because I heard Cruella DeVille. And this person still feels like they have some sort of control over your life. All right? But you claimed your boundaries. You stood up to this person. They are now this person is claiming that you attacked them, that things are happening to them because of you. Wow. Because you set your boundaries with this person. Cruella DeVille. That's what I heard. Somebody's very cruel. And all you needed from this person was to respect your boundaries or to give you equal respect or stop trying to manipulate things in your life. And they couldn't un they couldn't stop. This person was addicted to controlling your life here. All right? This person was very karmic in your life as well. Yeah, so share a breath. Take a deep breath. Meditate. 49. Somebody could be 49. Somebody could be born on the 24th. Somebody could be 24. I heard Shayla or Kayla. Dimitri, Dominic, Daryl, Shatina or Katina, Katrina, Taylor, I 
I heard Yvette, Carl, Time for Crayons, what? Woo, it's wonderful, okay? So something wonderful is happening, or something amazing is happening with you. You had an energetic breakthrough. You had a major transformation. You switching timelines. And like I said before, you guys been crowned in the spirit realm. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. These people are starting to realize all they're doing is hindering their own growth. All they're doing is blocking their own manifestations. All they're doing is helping you awaken more, and, and they're strengthening your gifts, okay? Because... Somebody's trying to put your gifts to the test or somebody knows you're gifted, but they want to try to play you when they're around and they want to try to lie to you right in your face, knowing that you're gifted, knowing that you're going to know that they're lying. And this person is like testing your gifts. This person is trying to play games as if they don't believe that you're gifted, but they actually know you're gifted. So they're literally, it's like, it's like a mind, a mind, mind trick or like manipulation tactics or something. This person just tried to trigger you. And now somebody's trying to make it seem like things are not personal, but it is personal. So this person that got caught trying to block this person from coming towards you, all right, because they came up with some sort of little scheme, uh, this person um, is trying to act like it wasn't personal, but it was personal. This person was jealous of you, and this person didn't want this other person to have a healthy connection with you because then this person feels like, oh, they would lose control over this person. Stay in your own skin. All right, yeah, somebody's trying to, like, transfer dark energy to you, so make sure you're transmuting it. Expect the best, all right, so you can expect the best coming up for you guys. Keep your minds positive, please, and thank you. Don't start thinking negative thoughts about your life, because that will block you. All right, I got another message here that I wanted to give to you guys. Somebody here, they were doing the most, all right, playing mental, like, mental mind tricks on you, making you feel like you were going crazy, things disappearing and then popping up in your home, all right, um, popping up at different places, having different people follow you around to watch you, the watchers, yeah, they, they wanted you to feel like you were going crazy, all right, or they wanted you to believe that you were cursed, or they wanted you to believe that, you know, they had some sort of charges on you, but this was all orchestrated in order to put you into fear, all right, so, yeah, they're trying to judge you for having supernatural abilities. They wanted you to believe that you weren't special and favored by God, but they know you are. Their wicked tongues are being silenced. Hmm. All right, so then I heard, yeah, somebody's afraid to see you. Now somebody's trying to tap into their gifts because they know that you tapped into your gifts, but this person's only tapping in to their dark ancestors because they haven't done the spiritual work. There's going to be a major revelation. Yeah, there's going to be a major revelation in your life. Somebody uh, is being, or like, somebody is having guilty conscience or somebody's having a guilt trip. And somebody knows they need to come towards you and, and tell you the truth about something. And so this person's going to show up. Maybe this person's going to be, like, overindulging, drinking, drunk, high or something when they tell you the truth. Because they can't come to you sober. Because they're just, like, mm, too nervous. Don't let pride get in your way. Somebody has a lot of pride and ego. Somebody could be messing with your packages if you guys are ordering packages or you receive packages and or you have a small business or whatever the case may be. Somebody could be trying to tamper with your packages. This is being orchestrated on purpose in order to make you lose money, in order to make you look like you're not sending people their packages, but you really are. They're trying to make you look bad. They're trying to prove that you're some sort of scammer. What? Okay. Or somebody's just trying to play play games with you and steal your packages. Um, just to lower your vibration. Information is coming fast. These people have been targeting you for a while. Thinking about moving away from this location. Yeah, moving away, having a fresh start. Now somebody's sorry that they betrayed you and they walked away. Something about spiders or spider webs, cobwebs. All right, something about cobwebs or spiders. If you run into a cobweb or you see spider and a cobweb, this could be in your home and at work or when you're walking somewhere. I don't know. It feels like there's like a, a, a whole coven that's been doing uh, work on you simultaneously. Like, and so they like try to weave this web of lies around your life and illusions around you. And they're trying to astral project and watch you through your mirrors and through these little spiders or bugs. 
All right, you know, it's time to call the exterminator. It's time to get some bug spray and get them out of here. Because um, every time you see one of those bugs, you just kill it. All right, and um, every time you kill it, it backfires on whoever's trying to spy on you. All right, through some sort of divination work. Broke player. Okay, so somebody's a broke player. Broken glass. Somebody could have broke a glass or something about broken glass. Be careful. There could be a piece of glass in your carpet, in your rug, and all of a sudden you step on it. Broken glass, and then all of a sudden you, you that wasn't there. Somebody's trying to hurt you. If you live with somebody, they could be throwing little shards of glass in the, in the carpet. Wow, this is crazy. So just vacuum your carpet and make sure there's no broken glass for you or your children. Or that could have happened before. Um, stealing your inheritance, cheater. Yeah, somebody was a broke player. This person was co coming into your life to become a, to be a cheater and put you in the Two of Swords energy. But this person was involved with whoever was stealing your inheritance. Okay? Yeah, deceitful family. Yeah. Justice, karma, law. Having the base of justice system. Somebody's being subpoenaed into court. Somebody's being questioned about this situation. Hmm. Somebody's child's father could be sick or ill. You've manifested a, a major opportunity and somebody's sick about this. You could have relocated. You could be manifesting something. Your, your business could be going good. Your career could be doing great. Or you're getting a promotion. Something's happening that's going in your favor. And, you know, somebody's very upset about that. Like, they did. They put a lot of work in. Spent a lot of time and effort and energy in order to block you. And, like, you're moving forward like a champ. Mm. Bad storm for somebody. There's a really bad storm power outages somebody's being released from jail and they're coming towards you be mindful there's an important phone call you got to take action somebody made false reports about you about you and your children or your child or something about the school is making reports about you and your ch or your child an important phone call about a child this could be a specific message from some for somebody the school is also working um together with the secret societies and your family to make you look like a bad parent all right surrender to love Make sure you, uh, I don't know, this is like for somebody specific here, the school. Gypsy ancestors, this is not, take what resonates and leave the rest. Dark-skinned female is a part of this, or you're the dark-skinned female with, with gypsy ancestors, or you're dealing with one, the letter O, P, Q, or R. And somebody's having a near-death experience, you're going to find that out late at night, bad accident. This person has an out-of-body experience, and then when they have this uh, near-death experience, they have to tell you the truth. They have to do the right thing. They feel like this was their bad karma for all the things they were doing to you. All right, let me spoil you. Now somebody's going to try to come and bombard you with gifts. Karmic mom exposed. Yeah, near-death experience. Red and black minivan, SUV, or truck. Having victory in court, and a water sign is under judgment, and they know that they lost you for good. This person was trying to block you. Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah, they're having nightmares. Because you're shining bright and you're about to come together with your past life soulmate, somebody that's aligning with you. Ooh, for some of you guys, you have a fire sign that could be your soulmate, Aries Leo Sag. Somebody could have green eyes or blue eyes, hazel eyes, destined healer. The letter W, X, Y, or Z, you're a destined healer. Full moon magic backfires on these karmics. You're a talented artist. Karmic females obsessed, poison ivy. All right. And uh, something about a celebrity, somebody who's like a popular or seen in the public eye, this could be you or them, is like watching you, obsessively watching you or stalking you or wanting to come towards you with some sort of deal or offer. But be mindful what contract you guys will be signing because for a lot of you guys that watch me, you're very talented. You're very talented in whatever it is that you're talented at, whatever it is that you're skilled at, and your craft. And somebody's admiring your work and somebody's about to approach you with like this major offer. But be mindful. Make sure it's legit. Make sure you're not compromising your soul when you're signing a contract. Movement, all right? You're having forward movement. Yeah, eating healthier. Spending a lot of alone time. And connecting with your ancestors is here. All right, dream journal. Keep a dream journal because you're having some vivid dreams. Pay attention to your intuition. It's always on point. Watching a movie, you could be spending alone time. Watching Netflix and chill, watching movies. Drinking your tea or coffee or whatever you're drinking and you're chilling there with your cat or your dog or your pet or just by yourself and you're spending alone time nourishing your temple. That's very important. Taking walks out in nature, that's very important. Don't keep yourself locked in the house. Read books and gain knowledge and wisdom and ground yourself, my love. There's a major blessing coming and this is a time of transformation and this is what you've been um, manifesting here. You've been manifesting this. 
I heard ginger or ginger tea. I heard gingerbread. Somebody could be a ginger with freckles and red hair. Jason, Jackie. Chaser, reveal, and neglected. So yeah, you're not chasing somebody anymore because they neglected you. And now they're going to come and reveal something to you in order to get back in your energy or because this is what they have to do. Because you're not even looking for this person. You're not reaching out. You're busy healing and moving forward. And this person failed to do the right thing by you. And now they want to come towards you and they want to reveal some truth to you guys. All right. So this is your reading. I hope this helped. If you guys are interested in a personal, reach out to me. If you're interested in the crown chakra protection spray, if you're interested in the spiritual protection bracelets, okay, I have two different kinds. I have the chakra bracelets and I have the um, Santa Barbara bracelets, which is a protection bracelet as well. Um, let me know if you guys are interested, okay? I still have the spiritual bath available. Be gone. If you're interested, let me know. Thank you so much for your love and support. Till the next time, namaste.